Okay, so can you really paint your car by yourself in your front yard with a Harbor Freight paint gun? Yes, yes you can. The reason I say it like that is because when it comes time to paint your car, most people go one of these two routes. Take it to a professional and pay a lot of money to have them paint the car for you, or just painting it in your front yard with spray paint. So today, I'm gonna be showing you my method I use for painting my cars. And it falls somewhere in between those other two options. But it looks way better than spray paint and it costs much cheaper than paying someone to do it for you. I recommend you get the $70 Harbor Freight gun. Don't get the uh, $15 one. I've used that cheaper gun in the past and the finish is not as good as this one. So just spend the extra money, you know, get the better gun and it turns out a lot nicer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up so that it paints it correctly. This is the same configuration I used on uh, the car, so. So what you're gonna wanna do is open this bottom valve up all the way. Now for this back one, what you're gonna wanna do is squeeze the trigger and then tighten it up until you feel it press against the trigger. You'll feel like a little pressure when you're pushing against it, right? Just like that, just like that. And then that's how you set up that one. And then this last one, the side knob is real simple. You're gonna wanna go full blast with it and then just a quarter turn back. That's how I had it set up. So this is the compressor that I'll be using. I've also used this smaller one in the past. This is just your basic air compressor. You've probably got one of these in your garage right now. But the idea is to keep 25 PSI of air pressure to your gun at all times. And this kind of struggles keeping up with that when this one can do it a little easier. So this is the one I'm using. So when you're doing an outside paint job, be sure you wet down the area around your car. This ensures that dust won't fly up and get on the finish. Then right before you start spraying, that's when you want to wipe it down using your tack cloth. Since I'm using two-stage paint, it doesn't look very glossy until you start adding the clear coat.
So before I end this video, I just wanted to say that if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, the video I recommend you watch before you do this yourself is by Fix206. His video was extremely helpful to me and I just wanted to send you guys in the right direction. Other than that, be sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you later.